that you used the word sacrifice so much to talk about your family. Can you just explain what um, they've they've meant to you, not just this year, but no, I mean, just every, everything that I do. Um, they sacrifice so much of their time, their lives, uh, to make sure that I have everything that I need to be able to be successful and go out and compete at a high level every night. I go out and do everything for them, my family. And that's for me. That's the most important thing to me is being to keep your family together, and they do a great job of keeping me together. So that's uh, that's why it was important to me to make sure that everybody across the world understood how important you know, my family is. You help keep the Thunder organization on the right track as well this season. What was your approach from a leadership perspective during the year? Just try to find a way to lead the guys. I think obviously. Myself and everybody in the building. And, uh, I wanted to make sure everybody was most comfortable um, as they could be. And my teammates did an amazing job. People in the building, uh, everybody that I name up there on that on that stage, did an amazing job of making my job easy to go out and just go out and play basketball. And I'm just so thankful to be a part of uh, such an amazing organization. Uh, and great teammates that always have my back and support me. So I'm uh, just thankful for that. Have you been able to be your most valuable pops these days too? I definitely hope so. Uh, Got to ask you though, hopefully when you start talking, you can say that I'm the most valuable pop. That would be most important. So. Hey, Russ, when you put in all that extra work, some guys think about championships, some think about personal MVP. They think about those things. What what, what drove you? Did an MVP ever drive you? No. Uh, my family, I just wanted the best uh, in my family for Kids uh, like myself growing up in the city that have been told that they, 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 they can't do something or they and not able to do it. Uh, uh, try again next time. Uh, you know, I, I continue to, to drive and continue to try to make a point uh, through my play. And that's why I go out every night and compete at a very, very high level. And, and the awards and uh, playoffs and championship, whatever comes along with it, is just uh, all blessing from the men above. And I just go out and and do things, uh, try to do things the right way as uh, many times as I can. Russell, well, so you said tonight you, you appreciate that people recognized it this year, what you had done. What, what, why do you think more this year than before? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I just, uh, I'm just appreciative of it, man. I, uh, I feel that every night I try to be the best player on the floor. Since I've been in the league, I may not have been the best player on the floor at times, but uh, in my mind, um, I wanted to go out and leave everything I had on the floor, and I think that I do that every night, regardless of uh, time, date, travel. Um, I make sure that I always have enough energy to leave everything I have on the floor. You joked about saying maybe someday you could be the MVP. When did it? When did it become real to you that that was something you could do in your life? I don't know, man. Honestly, probably not to this year, man. To you know, people around the league going to, uh, to different arenas and kind of hearing people cheer for me at, at a level that I never seen before. Um, and that's just an amazing blessing. It was. Kind of caught me off guard, honestly. Um, you know, just an amazing blessing, just humble by it all. Russ, when you're when you're freshman year and you're playing those one-on-one -on -one games with like Mustafa and James, yeah. are you are you and, and you guys are joking about being on the cover of GQ and winning MVP? Yeah. Is that a thing you ever saw in tandem? I did it, man. Uh, you know, we we joked about a lot of different things uh, at that time. Uh, you know, I never thought I'd be standing here talking to you guys. Never thought I'd be getting drafted. Uh, been in the NBA is just. Uh, been a, uh, a great journey. Just looking forward to things that come ahead. Just, uh, just extremely blessed uh, with the opportunity to be able to do what I, I love to do, and uh, just thankful to continue to move forward. It's been only like a month and a half, and everybody says within the first, immediately becoming a father, you learn certain things about yeah. yourself. What, what have you learned? Uh, just how important my son's life is, man. It's just so crazy uh, to have uh, I said my wife. She does an amazing job to kind of see. See her uh, through her process was more was the most amazing thing I've, I've seen just from her just because she's she sacrificing she she would do anything you can see she do anything for her family and my job is to make sure that I'm there to support my family uh, my son to make sure he has and uh, never want and needs anything and uh, make sure he, he's, he's he's brought up the right way. You said Russell, you were gonna have to learn to change a diaper, did did you? Oh yeah, I was already on point with that. My diaper changing, <laughs> all that stuff was on point. My my wife was real surprised that. Uh, how important I was doing my, my research at an early at an early time to make sure that when uh, Noah came, I was ready to go and make sure I was ready for him. 
you're, you're reaping the awards for incredible hard work. Was there ever a time here recently that after the birth of your child or in the middle of this process for the MVP, you just sat back and just savored it and just took it all in? Yeah, I mean, there's, I know what, it's funny, I, I kind of do it all the time. I'm always up in the middle of the night with Noah, like 3.30, that's the time. <laughs> uh, we're always up, you know, he's got to get fed, and I'm always up in the middle of the night with him. And sometimes I just sit there and look at him and just uh, thank God, man, just because, you know, there's many people uh, around the world. Um, there's a lot of different things going on in the world today that people lose their, their mothers, their fathers, their sons, their daughters, and just be thankful to have a life to wake up every day and then I just you know just so thankful I can say so many things that I'm thankful for but I just you know, I constantly say thank you and, and, and uh, for the blessing that I have so why was it so last question for your teammates last on last stage and you man they, they 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 make my job so easy man. all year long people try to support us up and those guys never fell into it they always have my back they, they made my job very very easy they uh, supported me they let me go out and compete at a high level, man. I'm just so thankful to have those guys in my corner. Um, that's my brothers. Obviously, everybody couldn't be here, but the guys over here, man, it's truly uh, amazing and blessed for me.